so here we have second video in which we are going to learn how different trigonometric ratios behave differently in different quadrants. So in last video we have learned that if I draw a unit circle that means the circle of the radius equal to 1 and the center at the intersection point of x and y axis are the origin then the values of sine theta and cos theta can be found as coordinates of this point where if you join the origin and this point this line will make an angle equal to theta from the x-axis. So the y-coordinate is sine theta and the x-coordinate is cos theta, right? So tan theta can be written as sine theta divided by cos theta or it is actually the y-coordinate of the point and divided by the x-coordinate of the point. So all these coordinates, how sine theta and cos theta change their values in different quadrants that we have learned in the last video and that is what we are going to use over here. So tan theta is equal to tan theta and if I talk about tan 90 minus theta which is equal to sine 90 minus theta divided by cos 90 minus theta and here sine 90 minus theta is cos theta and cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta that means tan 90 minus theta will be equal to cos theta divided by sine theta, the y coordinates of this point, divided by the x coordinate of this point and this is equal to cot theta and tan 90 plus theta will be equal to y coordinate of this point divided by x coordinate of this point that is cos theta divided by minus sine theta and this will be equal to minus cot theta. So tan 90 minus theta is cot theta, tan 90 plus theta is minus cot theta and if I talk about tan 180 minus theta this will be coordinates of this point because this is angle theta so this total angle is 180 minus theta so this is equal to sine theta divided by minus cos theta or you can write it as minus tan theta and tan 180 plus theta is equal to minus sine theta divided by minus cos theta that is equal to tan theta and if I talk about tan 270 minus theta then tan 270 minus theta will actually be equal to y coordinate is minus cos theta and x coordinate is minus sine theta. So this will be equal to minus cos theta divided by minus sine theta that is cot theta and if I talk about tan 270 plus theta then this will be equal to y coordinate that is minus cos theta divided by sine theta that is minus cot theta and tan 360 minus theta will be equal to y coordinate of this point divided by x coordinate of this point that is minus sine theta divided by cos theta that is equal to minus tan theta right and similarly you can write down the behavior of cot theta in all these different quadrants so cot 90 minus theta will be equal to tan theta you just have to replace tan by cot and cot by tan so cot 90 minus theta will be equal to tan theta cot 90 plus theta will be equal to minus tan theta and cot 180 minus theta will be equal to minus cot theta and cot 180 plus theta will be equal to cot theta cot 270 minus theta will be equal to tan theta and cot 270 plus theta will be equal to minus cot theta and cot 360 minus theta will be equal to minus cot theta. So this is how different ratios behave differently in different quadrants. So that's all in this video and in next video I will explain you how to remember this transition from tan to cot, cot to tan, sine to cos, cos to sine, sec to cosec and cosec to sec in a very easy manner. So that's all for this video. Keep watching MathMath, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos.